Today, I am with two friends looking for one of the most endangered amphibians in Panama, the Limor tree frog. Sadly, this frog was once a common species, but today it is critically endangered and finding one is basically considered a blessing from the herb gods. Which used to be really common in Panama, but due to the amphibian decline crisis, now it's a really, really rare sight. So hopefully we'll be seeing some tonight and, well, I hope you enjoy. I am now in the cloud forest of central Panama in hopes to find one. The cloud forests differ from other types of habitat, mainly in its vegetation, since they are wet most of the time due to the mist and clouds. Most trees are covered in moss. The streams of the cloud forest are the perfect habitat for the lemur tree frog. But before we head out, it is time to set up camp before it gets dark, so that we have a safe and warm place to sleep once we're back from the forest. The cloud forest is a cold and wet place. And even though it sounds counterintuitive, because we're in the tropics, without a proper dry and warm tent, you can suffer from hypothermia. Now that our camp is set, we only need to wait for dusk to start our adventure. So it's finally getting dark, and it's starting to rain a bit, so I think it's going to be an awesome night for frogging in the cloud forest. Lemur tree frogs, if you're out there, we're coming to find you. Soon after we started hiking, we were already finding incredible creatures like this wandering spider and this awesome looking cricket. As we make it to the first creek, we can see that the water is crystal clear and we can even see some tadpoles swimming. A few steps into this stream and we found the first herb of the night, an amazing blonde hand tree snake. These snakes do not pose a threat to humans and are well known for having a taste for small frogs and frog eggs. Another good sign that amphibian populations on this place may still be thriving. As we kept on hiking, the stream just got better and better. Really clear water. The place was filled with moss and orchids. I cannot imagine a better place for tree frogs than this. Just as I am in awe observing the beautiful habitat around me, I spotted one of the rarest sites in Panama, a salamander. Panama has only two types of salamanders, worm salamanders and web-footed salamanders, like this one. For me, these are true jewels of Panamanian jungle. This is a cochlea web-footed salamander, a species threatened by habitat loss. It is probably the most common salamander in Panama, but that does not make it an easy find at all. Salamanders are very secretive and are usually well hidden in moss around trees or under rotting logs. This is truly a lucky find, even perhaps a sign from the herb gods. Another cool find, a Panamanian tape. This species of Echinosaura is endemic to Panama, and finding one always reminds me of how lucky I am to live in a highly biodiverse country. Finally, the first frog of the night, a spotted glass frog, known this way for its white or yellow dorsal spots. Some species of glass frog have a completely clear venter, allowing the view of internal organs like the heart and lungs, but it is not the case in this species. This male is trying to find a mate, if successful, Eggs will be laid on this branch and he will care for them until they hatch and fall into the stream. We also found this Warsawitch frog. Some populations of this species have been known to be heavily affected by the chytrid fungus. Luckily, it seems they are doing just fine in this stream. Overhanging the stream is this Laloma rubber frog. These frogs are very variable in coloration, but this individual is particularly light colored with bright orange and yellow tones. These frogs lay eggs on leaves and care for them while their tadpoles develop and hatch as fully formed froglets. Although classified as least concern, there is little data on how the chytrid fungus has affected this species. As much as I love hiking, I can't help but to wonder if we will actually find the lemur tree frogs. For now, we have no other option than to keep walking. Here we have a canal zone tree frog. I am very familiar with these gladiator frogs, as I have some in my frog breeding project. I will dedicate a video in the future to this species alone. This is a yellow dire frog, named like this because touching it dyes your skin yellow. And get ready for this, right beside the dire frog, what we came looking for, a lemur tree frog. I cannot believe it has been 12 years since I last saw one in the wild. After looking for this for more than a decade in Panama, to find it gives me goosebumps. These frogs are named lemur tree frogs because their eyes resemble those of an indri lemur. These frogs are known to be highly susceptible to the chytrid fungus and are also threatened by rapid habitat loss, climate change and pollution. 
The Panamanian populations of lemur tree frogs are really on the verge of extinction. But today we are very lucky and filled with hope as we not only have found the male, we have found a perineum plexus searching for a place to lay eggs and also another male. The stream has several lemur tadpoles and we even found the metamorph. This is a very rare find for Panama. It is a thriving and healthy lemur tree frog population, something I feared I may not see again during my lifetime. This has been a truly exceptional night. I find myself with hope renewed and with even more motivation to start in situ conservation projects. If you like videos like this one and want to help fund my conservation efforts in Panama, be sure to check my Patreon page and gain access to exclusive content as you help me save Panamanian species from extinction.